here is how I set up WireGuard on my Depth node. So first, I didn't want to go through the uh, Depth node Wi-Fi anymore because it's just I have constantly to switch between um, the networks, my normal internet connection, and the Depth node Wi-Fi if I wanted to access it. That's a bit of a hassle. And secondly, I'm quite a way away from the DAP nodes so I um so the signal was very weak so I went to the DAP uh, the VPN settings on my DAP node and there there is the DAP node admin if that wouldn't have been there then I could have created uh, new credentials with add device but now I'm just clicking on get link and there it shows me different ways of how to retrieve the config configurations for WireGuard basically. Um, there are two settings, local and remote. I chose the local one for now, um, uh, which means I have to connect, to be connected to the same router as the um, as, uh, as DAP node. So I'm copying the uh, config configuration of WireGuard in the buffer in the clipboard and then going over to WireGuard which was easy enough to Google and download from their website. So uh, here I'm adding a an empty tunnel, they call it, and uh, and I give it a name, Depth Node Local. And now I'm just replacing the information in there with the information I had in the clipboard from Depth Node. And that is basically it uh, on this side. I just hit save. And that means on my laptop, WireGuard is properly configured to access that node through um, the normal internet connection. So all I have to do now is disconnect from the that node Wi-Fi, which I'm still connected to. That's direct connection to the that node through its own Wi-Fi. So I'm disconnected from that. And now my normal internet connection kicked in automatically. So I'm connected to that. And that means I'm losing connection to that node. And that's why that's because I haven't activated the tunnel yet. So if I activate the tunnel, then I see straight away that it's uh, transferring data down there. And in the background, uh, that node shows up again because um, it has regained that connection, but now not from um, through the, the Wi-Fi. And then now I have, don't have to switch between Wi-Fi's anymore. I can just access um, that node through my normal internet connection and that means in turn that i could just um, turn off this uh, this wi-fi switch here which means that this ssid wouldn't show up anymore but i uh, left it on just for security like I, just for safety that i can log into it uh, if i lose connection through wireguard or whatever okay let's uh, move on to staking packages